genes can help find time of death. Post-death gene activity may one day be a new area for forensic specialists to explore. A study from Spain has found that gene activity in dead bodies can point to the time of death. It found post-death activity in the brain and spleen to show little change. However, they also discovered post-mortem fluctuations across 600 muscle genes. The research was done via an algorithm that looked at samples from 399 people. The program attempted to tell the times of death for 129. In blood samples, it found that DNA production, immune response, and metabolism declined six hours after death. Most gene activity was found to occur between 7 and 14 hours after loss of life. If developed further, their approach could one day be used as a criminal investigation tool. Going deeper. Are humans next? China successfully cloned monkeys using transfer DNA, marking the first time such a feat has been achieved and possibly paving the way for human cloning. Scientists in Shanghai have cloned two genetically identical macaques using the same technique that produced Dolly the sheep. Somatic cell nuclear transfer involves taking the nucleus of a cell, which contains its genetic material, and injecting it into an egg that has had its own nucleus removed. The egg cell is then treated with enzymes to stimulate embryo development, just like a naturally fertilized egg. In all, the researchers created 109 embryos and implanted them into 21 surrogate monkeys, resulting in six pregnancies, but only two live births. The macaques named Zhong Zhong and Hua Hua aren't the first primates to be cloned, though. That distinction belongs to Tetra, a rhesus monkey created using a simpler embryo-splitting method. The Chinese team believes the monkey clones could be useful in medical research, specifically in the study of genetic diseases like Parkinson's or autism. Baby born after being frozen as an embryo for 24 years. 24 years is a long time to be on ice. Just ask Emma. Emma Wren Gibson was born on November 25th from an embryo that was cryogenically frozen 24 years ago. The embryo was created for in vitro fertilization by an anonymous couple and placed in cryogenic storage on October 14, 1992. Emma's parents, Tina and Benjamin Gibson, chose embryo adoption after realizing they were unable to have children. The Gibson selected Emma after viewing around 300 donor profiles listing basic genetic information about the biological parents. Talk about being a cool baby. How to edit genetics without changing DNA. Scientific brilliance coming out of the MIT Harvard Broad Institute may one day better the lives of millions. DNA directs protein on how to build cells via RNA. A new study, published in the journal Science, details how DNA instructions can be chemically altered via edits to information in the RNA. The DNA remains unchanged, while proteins build cells based on the edited instructions. The method is not ready for human trials, but could one day help those suffering from degenerative diseases.